In this video, we're going to learn how to find the volume of a cylinder, and more specifically, where the volume of a cylinder formula comes from. We'll start by going back down to the base of the cylinder, which happens to be a circle. And in previous years, you've learned that the area of a circle is pi r squared. But where does the pi r squared actually come from? So let's take a look. If we strip away the formula and begin just with one r, we can see on our circle that's the radius. If we multiply by a second r, r times r actually produces a square covering an area of r times r. So whatever the radius is times itself. And we can also show this as r squared, like we can see on the screen now. Also note that this is 1 r squared, which does not cover the entire circle. So let's add another r squared, which gives us a total of 2 times r squared. We can see that that covers about a little more than half the circle, so that's not going to do. So let's add a third r squared to the mix, and we can see we're covering 3 quarters of the circle and just a little bit more, but we can still see that some of our circle, a quarter of the circle, is not covered. So let's toss on a fourth r squared. We've now covered the entire circle, but you'll notice that we now have a large square that is covering the circle plus an additional space in the corners. So 4R squared actually is an area that is too big to be called the area of a circle. We actually have the area of a square here, so it's a little bit bigger than what we need. So let's break this down a little bit. By taking that 4R squared, and visualizing the corners that we need to eliminate, those corners have an area of 0.86 r squared. And if I subtract those two values, 4 r squared minus 0.86 r squared, we end up with 3.14 times r squared, which is ultimately pi r squared. Later, in another video, we'll talk about where that 0.86 times r squared comes from. But for now, we're going to go back to the base of our cylinder, which is a circle. We know how to find the area of a circle. And ultimately, the area of a circle essentially represents the volume of a cylinder with a height of just over zero. If it is zero, then obviously the volume is going to be zero. Anything times zero is zero. But picture this. As our height increases to one unit, we can see the volume of a cylinder simply the area of a circle, pi r squared, times 1. I can increase the height, and I now have pi r squared times 2, pi r squared times 3, and finally, we can sub in any height we'd like by simply using a variable of h. So our volume of a cylinder formula is actually the area of the base, which is pi r squared for our area of a circle, and then we simply multiply it by how tall the cylinder is. So we end up with a volume of pi r squared times h for the volume of our cylinder.